My visor is probably my favorite piece of exercise equipment. I barely ever leave home without it when I'm going for a run. But why? Watch on to find out more. Hey, how's it going? I'm Will from Iron Will Multisport Australia, your place to find tips, tricks, and experience in triathlon, multisport, and endurance events and training. I never used to wear a visor. Then a few months ago, I was doing a training session with my triathlon club. One of the other members said that they always include a visor in their triathlon kit for training and events. It got me wondering, why a visor? Being from Australia, one of the most obvious answers, of course, is for sun protection. Skin cancer and sunburn, that sort of thing, can affect anyone. And especially people with low uh, melanin, I believe it is, levels, such as myself, you know, pale skin, were especially at risk of UV radiation. Growing up here in Australia, I always remember that ad that came on TV all the time. I think it started in like the 80s. It was uh, Sid the Seagull and he was singing about slip, slop, slap. So, slip, slop, slap, slip on a shirt, slop on sunscreen and slap on a hat. And yeah, I did have to practice that quite a few times. Although now this saying has been increased to include seek, which is seek shade, and slide, to slide on some sunglasses. So it's slip, slop, slap, seek, slide. Try and say that five times fast. So the obvious benefit of a visor is that it allows a bit of that shade to be put on your face when the sun is overhead or when the sun's in front of you. This stops the UV radiation getting to your face a little bit and as such stops sunburn and skin cancers, that sort of thing. Though of course for the greatest safety, even if it is cloudy outside, the best bet is to put sunscreen on. Even if it's cloudy, you're still gonna get UV radiation, still the sun is gonna affect you. You can still get sunburn on a cloudy day. I know that firsthand. So about one in three cancers that are diagnosed are skin cancers. So quite a significant amount of cancers that are diagnosed are skin cancers. And about 66%, so two thirds of Aussies here in Australia, by the time they're 70, will have had a diagnosis of skin cancer at some point in their life. That's a bit scary, especially since like, there could be a melanoma, which is a malignant cancer, which unfortunately causes way too many deaths. I heard a stat not too long ago, I think it's, there's only about two days in the year where it's not recommended to wear sunscreen. The rest of the days, you really should be wearing sunscreen, even throughout summer, spring, autumn, and winter. If you find some irregular marks on your skin that you think possibly could be some sort of skin cancer, then get yourself checked out nice and early. Early treatment is always better. Now, if you would like to do something about cancer research, try and end cancer, then donate to my fundraising cause. I raise funds throughout the year through my various races, such as City to Surf, Blackmore's Marathon, that sort of thing, for the Australian Cancer Research Foundation. I've got a fundraising link, which I'll leave in the description box below. It is www.donate2will.com. And all funds that go to Australian Cancer Research Foundation go towards helping fund the actual research behind the cancer research itself, especially funding the machines and programs. So, sorry, things got a little serious there. But yeah, a visor allows you to protect yourself from the sun's rays. And I find that a visor is a lot better than a hat. A hat is enclosed, so it keeps that heat in, versus a visor allows the wind to blow across your head and keep you a little bit cooler. Also, if you ever get a chance in a race to dump a cup full of icy water and or ice over your head, do it. It is amazing. And if you've got lots of hair on your head, then you can allow that hair to come out the back of the visor. It's a lot less hat hair, for instance. Though on the flip side, if you are balding or if you have thin hair, then a hat might be a better option. A hat allows for the full protection of the top of your scalp. So if you are thin up there, then that will allow better sun protection. Another good benefit of having a visor is the reduction of glare. So when you're running into the sunlight, when you're running, say, towards the sun, such as right now the sun is right there for me, typically I don't run with sunglasses. And if I'm running like this, I can't see very well. But if I tilt the visor down just a little bit, you can't see my eyes, but I can see the road ahead of me. It works somewhat similar to the sunshade in your car. Although for me, and probably the biggest thing that got me into wearing a visor is the benefit of having moisture wicking and sweat wicking from your skin. So a good visor that's made for exercise will have a softer inside. 
Uh, this will be able to wick the sweat off your skin and actually distribute it around the visor a little bit to help cool you down. The biggest upshot of this is that it keeps the sweat out of your eyes. And so whenever I go for a run or whenever I even do an indoor bike ride, I'll typically wear my visor. One of the downsides of this, of course, is that I sweat into my visors quite a lot, which means that they have ooh, a bit of a smell. That's why it's definitely advised to make sure that you wash your visors as often as possible. Maybe just rinse them after every time you've used them. When I first started using a visor, I got this one, which is the Orca visor, the black one. And this visor is excellent. I love it, absolutely. But then as I was doing my half Ironman towards the end of last year, I picked up my Ironman visor and I've been using this one solidly since. One of the great benefits, at least I find, of having an Ironman branded visor on is that it inspires me towards my next race, which my next big race is the full Ironman. Do you wear a visor for running, cycling, or any other exercise? Let us know in the comments section down below. For other triathlon gear reviews, I'll leave a link up here. If you want triathlon content every week from here in Australia and New Zealand, then hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.